Now let us talk about do antidepressants in pregnancy cause autism in children? Now we know that antidepressants when used in pregnancy carry an increased risk of birth defects such as an increased risk of abortion, major congenital malformations, premature birth, low birth weight and you can also check out my video on the safest antidepressants to use in pregnancy. Now it is thought that this risk are generally low compared to the population and you should consider if the benefits do outweigh the risks. So for example, maybe not treating your depression during pregnancy can cause an increased risk of severe postnatal depression, which means that you're not able to feed or hold your baby, which is detrimental to both you and the child. Now, basically, there have been different studies on the link between antidepressants in pregnancy and autism. So let's look at one of these studies. So one study showed that the use of antidepressants by women during the second or third trimester of pregnancy was associated with an 87% increased risk of autism spectrum disorder in children. And this was a study published in 2015. So the highest risk was seen in children who have been exposed to what we call the SSRIs. Again, you can check out my video on SSRIs. Um, also said that they were exposed to more than one class of antidepressants. So the authors tried to postulate maybe several possible mechanisms that might explain the link between autism and the use of antidepressants during pregnancy. So it says here that SSRIs are known to cross the placenta and they're found in the amniotic fluid, which is where the baby normally, is like that sac of fluid that you normally find the baby. So it's thought that the serotonin, now serotonin is the chemical that are thought to be low during depression and when you take antidepressants, it makes your serotonin levels go up and therefore it improves your low mood symptoms. So it's thought that serotonin is responsible for modulating the development of the baby, such as you know cell division, cell differentiation, and how the neurons, the brain cells, interact with each other. So it is thought that maybe the, capa the capacity of the brain to produce serotonin develops differently in children with autistic spectrum disorder, otherwise known as ASD. Now again, I've got the links to all these articles in my description page. You can find the links in my description page below. So we're going to look at two other studies. So there are two studies that looked exclusively at women who had psychiatric conditions. So one of, so some of them were taking antidepressants while pregnant. So one study showed that there was no risk related to antidepressants when they compared them with women who had other psychiatric conditions. While there was another study that found that for every 100 children with autism, two children might have autism because of antidepressant use in pregnancy. So we see that studies are still conflicting in terms of antidepressant use in pregnancy. We're told for one minute that the risk is low, we're told that the risk is high, or we're told that there's no risk whatsoever. And that there are other factors contributing, such as your genetic and environmental factors, you can also check out my video on the causes of autism in children. So for example, I spoke about children being at increased risk of autism if during pregnancy, both parents are at an older age, as there's an increase in genetic mutations in the sperm happening with age. And this is especially with dads over the age of 50. We also talked about the use of certain drugs that can cross the placenta into the amniotic fluid. So for example, thalidomide, which is a drug taken for vomiting, it was taken during the first or early second trimester that was found to have an increased incidence of autism. It is thought that you might have nutritional deficiencies like folic acid, though the evidence is not conclusive. It is also thought that pregnancies in quick succession, less than a year apart, can cause increased risk of autism. It's also thought that maybe having birth complications during pregnancy, such as preterm, low birth weight, multiple pregnancies or lack of oxygen during childbirth can increase your risk of autism. Then you have maternal infections during pregnancy such as rubella which can cross the placenta and affect your brain development. Then some studies have also found that there was a link between air pollution and autism especially in the third trimester of pregnancy. So there are so many causes that have been suggested and researched from like food preservatives, lead poisoning. So overall in terms of the question does antidepressants in pregnancy cause an increased risk of autism in your child? It's thought that the overall risk is low. Some studies say no, some studies say yes. So really and truly, you have to do your own research and make your own decision. 
If you have any thoughts regarding this, please drop some comments below and thank you for watching the video.